Hi, Frederick here. E-commerce fraud takes many forms and every e-commerce business should protect themselves and their customers. Today we're going to talk about six types of e-commerce fraud and how to fight them. The number one, card testing fraud. Card testing is a type of fraudulent activity where someone tries to determine if stolen card information can be used to make purchases. Fraudsters will try making small purchases to test multiple stolen credit card numbers to test if the credit card can be used for further, bigger purchases. How to protect yourself? Well, take advantage of fraud detection solutions. Most serious payment solution providers like Stripe have them in place. Work with them. Number two, chargeback fraud. When someone purchases an item or service online from you and then requests a chargeback from the payment processor claiming the transaction was invalid. In a chargeback fraud, also called friendly fraud, the shopper purchased an item from your online shop and argued the item was never delivered. Instead of calling you, the merchant, they call their credit card issuer asking to cancel the transaction. Other stories used are, but we returned the item, but we didn't get a refund. Or we canceled the order and the merchant still have sent it. How to prevent chargeback fraud? Verify if you work with a payment processor who offer AVS. An address verification service is a service provided by major credit card processors to enable merchants to authenticate ownership of a credit or a debit card used by a customer. AVS is done as part of the merchant's request for authorization in a non-face-to-face -face credit card transaction. Number three, refund fraud. Refund fraud involves returning goods ineligible for the refund to a retailer in exchange for money or other goods. The goods returning may be illegally bought. They can be damaged goods or simulated goods in the original product packaging or switching labels or purchasing products at a lower price and then returning them for the original value. So how to prevent refund fraud? will require an idea plus contact info when accepting returns. Eliminating cash refunds and offering store credit or gift receipts instead. Not always possible, I know. Update your return policies to limit to more strict guidelines and specific timeframes. And for sure, train your team. Number four, account takeover fraud. When the criminal access the victim's shopper's account and use the saved credit card details to buy the goods, this is what we call an account takeover fraud. Fraudsters are using various techniques to attempt an account takeover. From social engineering, phishing, credential stuffing and bot attacks. You can prevent account takeover. Check for compromised credentials. Compare new user credentials with a breached credential database available online. Set rate limits on login attempts. Send users notifications of account changes. A little bit more technically, identify country IP address and the account country from logging in if several accounts are accessed by the same device. It's a little bit more technical, but possible. Number five, interception fraud. Once an order is placed using a stolen credit card, the goal is to intercept the package and take the goods for themselves. With interception fraud, fraudsters attempt to intercept a customer's order and obtain goods for resale. Fraudsters will contact the vendor's customer service partner to have the order's shipping address changed to their own. That's one way. They may also approach the shipping company directly and ask them to reroute the delivery to an alternative address. How to prevent interception fraud? Make your shipping company understand your process and never accept a change of address. Train your customer service and double check as requesting an idea. Number six, triangulation fraud. When a shopper makes a purchase on a third-party marketplace, but the product they receive was fraudulently purchased with a stolen credit card. This practice harms businesses of all kinds. Customers usually aren't aware as the customers really receive their products. But in this fraud, three actors are involved. First, the unsuspecting customer who places an order on an auction or a marketplace using his or her credit card and often they do this because they get a huge discount. A fraudulent seller who receives that order then places the order for the actual product with a legitimate e-commerce website using stolen credit cards. 
And third, a legitimate e-commerce website that then processes the criminal's order. How to prevent triangulation fraud? Keep an eye out for customers who are placing frequent, repeating orders for the same few products, especially if they're using different shipping addresses for each order. Another one, well, go sometimes online and try to see if you can find your products on third marketplaces. I hope this podcast can give you an idea how criminals try to steal from your e-commerce website and how to prevent it. In the link below, you will find also the full all article so you can review it and check with your e-commerce website. And if you have stories of fraud, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for listening.